Hello and welcome to Plumbing Solutions Educational Series. In this episode we're going to talk about power tools. Now most plumbing companies are going to provide you with power tools and if you work for Plumbing Solutions we're going to provide you with power tools. There's lots of different uh, brands out there, lots of different sizes, shapes when it comes to your battery kits, lots of different voltages and things like that, but from tool to tool they're all designed to pretty much do the same job. Now the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to power tools is safety glasses. Get yourself some safety glasses, get used to wearing them anytime you're drilling, cutting, boring, grinding, anything like that, get used to wearing your safety glasses. Since I became a plumber there's been two different times where I got something in my eye, I wasn't wearing my safety glasses and it was a trip to the ER. One of them was a little piece of metal, one of them was a little chunk of concrete and it had to be removed. Safety glasses cost about two dollars. Uh, a trip to the ER cost about seven hundred bucks. So get used to wearing your safety glasses. All right, now battery battery kits. You used to not see a lot of this stuff. Pretty much everything had a cord on it back in the day because the battery kits they had out there just didn't have the power that we needed to do everything. Uh, they've made a lot of advancements in this stuff. These, their voltages kicked up. They're lithium batteries now. They last a lot longer. Uh, so you're going to see a lot more battery kits out there. Now you can just buy the tool. You can buy it. Comes in a cardboard box. It's just the tool. There's no battery on it or anything like that. Or you can get it as a whole kit. And we normally like to buy the whole kit because you get your batteries and you get your charger and a variety of tools and they come with a bag or a box. I prefer the hard box because at the end of the day you put your tool in there, you lock it up, it's not going to get rained on or dirt, concrete, glue poured all over it, whatever's rolling around the back of your truck. The bags are nice too because you can put all of that set in the bag and zip it up, it's pretty secure. Only thing I don't like about the bag is at some point in time somebody's going to come along and they're going to leave a drill bit in your drill, they're going to throw it in that bag, they're going to leave a blade in your saw, they're going to throw it in that bag and it's going to poke a hole in your bag and at that point your bag's going to start deteriorating. But it is still a good place to keep and store your tools. Now the first one here we need to talk about, you're going to use this guy every single day. This is called a reciprocating saw. A lot of plumbers love to brand name things. Uh, we call this a Sawzall. Now Sawzall is the Milwaukee brand. They were the ones that pretty much pioneered this little guy. This one's a DeWalt. There's not much different, um, but you will use your reciprocating saw every day when cutting boards, when cutting a hole in the wall or a hole in the floor. Um, there's lots of different blades that go in here. There's wood blades, metal blades. They have a blade that can cut cast iron. They come little bitty all the way to great big long ones. Your reciprocating saw, like I said, you're going to use it every day. The next item you're going to get in your drill kit is going to be your impact, your impact screwdriver. Now you can put screwdriver bits in here. You can put sockets in here. Uh, my favorite is you can get the inside uh, pipe cutter. It'll snap in here and this thing, it locks in so that that inside pipe cutter isn't going to get away from you and go down the pipe. I, I really like this guy for that. Um, the next tool you're going to see is, is your drill. Most of your kits are going to come with a drill. Um, you're pretty much just going to drill holes with this. You're going to want to get yourself some paddle bits and just a variety of different uh, drill bits to go along with this. But yeah, anytime you're going to drill a hole, you're, you're going to go for this guy. Since you have the impact, that's going to be for screwing off tubs and things like that. You're not going to use that drill for anything other than drilling. Most of these battery kits, they're going to come with something a little extra. This kit happened to come with a little flashlight. I love my flashlight. I probably use it every single day. Uh, some of the kits come with a little radio or some other kind of little trinket. It's just an extra thing you get in the kit. Uh, then I want to talk about this guy. Uh, the owner actually came in and handed me this just yesterday. Um, I hadn't got to use it yet. I hadn't tested it in the field, but I've seen a lot of the guys with these. This one is called a Hacksaw because it is a Milwaukee. Uh, it's got a real short blade on it. It's small. You can get it in places. got a little light on it. 
I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with this guy, but we'll probably see a lot more of them floating around. Now, the, the big boy in plumbing is your hog drill, and this is a Milwaukee super hog. This guy, you cannot stop this guy. This is probably one of the most powerful tools you're going to have on your truck. Now we do have bigger stuff, but you're not going to keep that on your truck. This one's going to be on your truck. This is for rough ends. This thing drives these great big old bits. Um, they're called a forcing bit. You're going to use this one for uh, running your drain lines and stuff. The other thing you can get what they call a ship auger, which is like a spiral bit. You're going to use those for your water lines and stuff. Uh, most rough end crews are going to have two of these because you got one guy running a water line, run guy, one guy running drain. Now, you have to be careful with these guys, because if you hit a nail with this guy, especially the Super Hog, it's not going to stop. It's going to kick and swing around and everything, and I will never forget the day I was on a rough end with one of my heat and air buddies, and he was up on a ladder, and he had this thing up here like this, and it caught a nail, that handle came around and hit him right in the face. He looked over at me, and you could see his three teeth poking out of his lip. So you got to be careful with this guy. We love our hog drills. Uh, the next one you're going to see, and this is the last one I have on the table here, is your chipping hammer. This, this one is a hammer drill and a chipping hammer, and it can drill and hammer at the same time. Uh, these things are nice when you just have a little bit of concrete to get out of the way, or you're drilling through a, con a foundation wall to anchor a hose bib. Um, I use mine to hang my tankless water heaters on brick walls and stuff like that but you're going to want to get you a couple of uh, drill bits. You're going to want to get one for your half inch water lines. You're going to want to get one for your three quarter water lines. And you're going to want to get a couple chipping bits. We got a flat chisel here and your little pointy spike. Uh, this guy comes in handy a lot. You're not going to use him enough every day. This is normally one of those, oh, we made a mistake tool. <laughs> so, uh, but you're going to have to have one. And that pretty much covers it for our, our big power tools, or our, our hand power tools. Uh, we have some other tools that you're not going to keep on your truck, but we do have access to that, like some big jackhammers and things, and we'll be covering those later. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I, I hope you see our next one. Thanks.